what if I told you saving fifty to a hundred dollars now was going to cost you fifteen hundred or two thousand dollars later? Don't you think it's worth spending that extra fifty to a hundred dollars right now? I think so. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, and welcome to a new. Let me change this. Welcome to a new episode of No Fail Hydroponics. We're going to talk about something very dear to me, um, kind of in the non-belief system for some people. Um, but let's get to it. We're going to talk about bulbs and how often should you change your bulbs. Okay. Um, there seems to be some misunderstanding about when and why. And the biggest thing is we got to understand that um, the why. Why is it important that we change our, our bulbs regularly? So very often I hear this kind of story. Hey, Ape, um, you know, man, can you come see what I'm doing wrong? Man, my, my yields, I'm doing the same thing, and my yields just keep going down and down, and I don't know what it is. And then I say, well, is the quality going down, and are you sure you're keeping everything in sh straight? Do you have any bug problems? No, I got all that covered. But for some reason, my yields keep getting lower, and the quality keeps going down. And I say, okay, well, when was the last time you changed your bulbs? Oh, I haven't changed the bulbs since I got these new lights. Well, okay, well, how long has that been? Oh, about two years. And then I say, what? So, let's get this straight. Why are bulbs important? Okay. First of all, fresh bulbs equal high PAR value. PAR stands for photosynthetic active radiation. And all you really need to know is it's the energy delivered to the plants from the light, which is much different than lumens. Because we everything's measured in lumens. Um, lumens don't mean squat. Okay, It's really all about PAR. The human eyes see lumens. Plants see PAR. Okay, so... Uh, it's important that we use fresh bulbs. Our plants use this par during during photosynthesis, photosynthesis to um, manufacture their own food, uh, energy, and therefore, uh, by using uh, fresh bulbs, we're going to ensure that our plants are going to get the most lush and the most um, um, vigorous growth that, that they can. So let's talk about when should we change these bulbs. And let's be real. Nowadays, um, back in the in the '90s, uh, early 2000s, and you guys, these old schoolers back in the '80s, you knew that if you're going to buy a bulb, it was going to cost you 129 bucks. Nowadays, you can get them. Um, most stores have bulbs in the 20 to 30 dollar range, 40 dollars maybe, all the way up to whatever you might need. Okay, including the new uh, double-ended stuff. So, if you're using the old school HIDs, okay. I'm going to recommend that you change your bulbs. Let's fix this here. Okay. Every two runs in the flowering cycle. Okay. It's very important that we talk about flowering cycle versus uh, any other time, vegetative. The, the, the nutritional needs of plants, indoor gardening plants, during the vegetative cycle is much less than the intense. Um, high par value that we need um, during the flowering cycle. So um, when we're talking about two, every two runs, you should be changing your bulbs. And particularly, I don't use 1,000 watt bulbs to veg in, and I don't know if anybody actually does anymore, um, especially with the new bulbs you can turn down, the new systems you can turn down. Um, but strictly in flowering cycle, two times. Okay. If you use it any much more than that, it just costs you money to use it. And a lot of the big boys, um, I know in the Bay Area or in the L.A., they simply change their bulbs every time because it costs them money to use old bulbs. Okay, it's, It does, folks. It just There's no way getting around it. Um, and, and the new double-ended systems, they say every three times. I'm going to recommend that you look at every two to three times. Um, after the third run, if you notice your yields are going down, um, and I usually see a decrease of about 30%, um, you know, and that can be significant. And we're talking about uh, not only what you should be producing and what you depend on your patients and your customers looking for, your total yields, but also for some of you like me who have a reputation on the line, 
um, when your yield and your quality is expected, people expect it to be among the best, by screwing around with old bulbs, you're just letting people know, number one, you don't know what the hell you're doing, and number two, that um, you don't care if you put boo-boo out there, okay? Boo-boo, I mean by low product, and you're going to talk it up about how great it is. Um, bulbs, no matter how good your technique is, if you use crappy bulbs, it's just going to screw it up. So, this is going to be a short... Um, this is a short uh, edition of No Fail Hydroponics. I hope you got some valuable information out of this. Again, old school lights, old school HIDs two times. The double ended system, I'd recommend three times. So, again, folks, if you're looking for answers to your everyday problems within your indoor and or hydroponic garden, come see Ape. I've got solutions for you. So, until next time, stay safe out there and happy growing.